Hello everyone and welcome to another episode with Whip on the HC servers. I'm here on a creative plot which just keeps getting griefed. No joke. I fixed this like last week and I came back on and like look at it. You can't tell me this is how it should look. Somebody has gone around, broken the house, placed water everywhere. I mean, oh my goodness. And you know why? Because maybe because the person who made this plot has like over 20 freaking people on it. Oh my goodness. If they want to give me a good reason to ban people, I might as well oblige, because look at this. LB, roll back. Player, Dan Nanyel, not. Players have really weird names sometimes. Every year, 40 since 10 days. Let's try that. Sounds good, right? I don't know. Yes. That deleted some of the water. Of course, the source blocks are still here because it spreads. Drain 20. No, I can't drain 20. Drain 5. Can I drain 5 still? I think I can. Can I just go? Oh, I know what I can do. Never mind. I can't actually use some world edit commands for some reason, but one thing I definitely can do is select the entire house and just do replace water with air. And that, my friends, didn't work. Even set air does nothing, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Drain five. You know what? I got access to sponge if I can place and destroy blocks. This should... do things, right? I mean, why not? This is like the, uh, the cheap moderator's version of draining water away. Right? Whatever. Doesn't even matter. Here's my point. When you've got a plot this griefed, is it even worth asking the admin to come help? Because guess what? Okay? Apparently you've added a ton of people that you can't trust to your land. Um, no matter what I do, someone's probably going to grief it when you've got over 20 people. And, it, like, what, what do you want me to do? What do you really expect me to do? Ban people? Because, uh, obviously the people that you've chosen weren't trustworthy. Uh, how do I know it's not going to come in again? Right? I don't know that. I'm going to leave the sponge here. It's a warning. It's ugly. I hate sponge. I don't think anyone else can even use sponge. But look at this place. This is horrible. I wouldn't want to live on this plot. To me, this is, doesn't look fun at all. Does it? If, if this was your plot, would you have fun here? Knowing that everybody that you've added is basically, probably, possibly a griefer. Well, maybe not. Maybe it was just that one dude. Right? Kind of. But I'm telling you, the last time I was here to fix it, it was somebody else. And the time before that, it was probably somebody else. So that's pretty sad, ain't it? What's the statistics, Mr. Bedrock? No, maybe it is just that Daniel plus uh, somebody. Maybe I'll be able to fix it in a, in a few rollbacks. Because as you saw, that slime dude broke it last time. No. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. That's the problem with being the admin. You gotta help people who can't help themselves. Oh my goodness. That's the issue with the creative server. Nobody can grief you if you don't add them. It's like the smarter version of the regular servers because that's also true on the regular servers. If you know how to protect your house correctly, you'll never have to worry about griefers. Right? Who's with me here? I mean, I shouldn't have to run around helping all these ridiculous people. They should be able to help themselves. We've given them 
griefing protection in, etc. But it's for times like this that you need staff members to come on. I'm kind of sick of this place, though. Like, look at this. 600 blocks here, 500 blocks there, filled with water, filled with holes, and it was one dude. One dude did all this, right? Making me waste all my valuable time, because life is finite, guys. We're all going to die sometime. That's sad. Here I am, picking up messes. Tempan. Dan. Daniel. 98. I don't know, how about five days for griefing... An entire plot. That sounds good. That was over 2,000 blocks. Water, things. I wasn't impressed. Wasn't impressed. It's not nice to grief people. It's even worse to grief friends on the creative server. <sighs> so, why don't we just do RCD10? It's been a while since I did this on this server. And we'll go around, we'll warn people about the danger of redstone clocks in multiplayer. You know, I realized something the other day, guys. I was just watching all of these, um... Minecraft videos where they explain how things work and actually explain the redstone clock It didn't explain that if these things run all the time and there's enough of them in multiplayer that it'll cause server lag. Nope because uh, I suppose the world the world doesn't matter. Huh I'd say this qualifies as a, as a redstone clock I'll just break the whole thing that should do it Plot me info. Who's who's responsible for this one? Yeah, all right. Temp and Nick 007A. It's not that big a deal. Two days for don't. Let's not get out of caps lock. A for don't make. I, I didn't write in his time yet. Don't make redstone clocks, please. It says in the rules every so often. It says in the rules every so often. Don't make redstone clocks. Might make you banned. That's true. <laughs> Was that that big a deal? Well, no, but sometimes you you got to reinforce the thingies that you put up. So minus, I think everything here is the same result. So, right, if I do this, that'll teleport me right here, right? TP pose. I'm glad we've got things like, yep, positional teleporting. That, uh can actually help me to get anywhere on the server where it determines that I need to be. And I don't know where redstone clock detector comes from, but I can tell that on any server, it's a good idea to have this. What the heck's going on here? Pool party? Oh, 4146 65 Nope, wait. 862. Well, 27 is close enough. Right? I mean... I don't need to go to the top. I had that wrong. Or is there actually something here? I must have typed the coordinates wrong. Oh yeah, I'm a thousand blocks off, aren't I? How in the world did I type that all wrong? Oh wow, okay. Four, one, four, six. 65, 8, 6, 2, 8. Yeah, that's more like it. Wow. Well, Mr. Flip. Oh, I can already hear this one. And this is your classic regular clock. Made a little more annoying because it's full of pistons. All that needs to be done is remove the repeaters. And it should be good. So, plot me info. Who owns this one? And actually, I can just right-click to see who placed it, thankfully. Yep, Milsar. So, Tempan, Milsar, Joss. One, two days for don't make redstone clock, please. Ah. <sighs> These aren't that serious, though, right? I mean, anybody... Four, five, five, three, sixty-five... Minus... What? Eight, eight, two, two. Anybody who just didn't know what a redstone clock was. I mean... Ooh, this is a bad one, too. 
Oh my god, is this a bad one. And it all begins with that. And people wonder why the server lags. Maybe it's because all of this redstone is updating even when people are not in this chunk. Ridiculous, huh? And if you thought it was wrong and it only updates when people are there, that's why our CD's coming up. What it measures is uh, the, the redstone changes per tick. And if it changes too much, that's when it shows up on that bar. Temp ban, layer bear, 76. That's his name, right? Yep. Let's make it four days for massive redstone block. It wouldn't be that bad if there wasn't like a billion freaking repeaters. Oh. All right. So, you know what? This is the only thing on his plot. So, plot me clear. Good job. Go on a creative server. Make a device that will pretty much break the game. Good. Good for you. I'm not impressed. Oh, my goodness. I think that's basically everything, right? I see D10. Unless I did this already. Oh, wow. That was, that was a lot more repeaters than I'm used to. Thankfully, RCD seems to be happening more often than... What the heck's going on here? I think he's just making a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A combination lock. Combination locks aren't ticks. Infinitely. So they're not bad. And this seems to be an interesting rail design, so that's not bad either. You gotta recognize what these things are. And this is just a dude playing with redstone at the same time that I'm doing the RCD clock. So that's no big deal. DP pose. Let's just look around some more, just in case. Because I think this is basically, for once, all the issues done. Which is good. I expect more than three when I go onto the creative server at any time. Maybe another staff member fixed it lately yep and now it's just people run on pressure plates a lot which makes sense people are just playing around here <laughs> look at them all what's even going on the crusty crab really someone remade the crusty crab in minecraft huh yeah it looks like a giant lobster trap yeah it's got booths <laughs> got a pineapple under the sea. All right, I can respect this. This is a pretty cool build, guys. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's like a fairly solid replica of the TV show. Awesome. Very awesome. Well, since all the RCDs are done, and according to Slash Check, uh, as far as uh, requests go, let's have a look here. 34 says, Can you please ban Panda Pie one for insulting? Done 34. Sorry, need screenshot proof for that. And multiplayer experience may vary. That's what I like to say because people eh, like to get each other in trouble. You know what I mean? Like if somebody swears in chat, people tend to try to report the staff to get them banned. Well, bans are serious. After three, you get permanently banned. So is it worth me banning somebody because he swore once? I mean, let's think about this rationally, right? I'm a 23-year-old. I don't care about swearing. I mean, depends on the context, right? There's there's random swearing and there's respect, right? If people start saying a bunch of stuff to you, I can understand. If it bothers you, yeah, report them, sure. Makes sense. But if you can't prove it, I mean, with a screenshot, that's kind of what tells me if it's bad or not. You know, I mean, sometimes you just gotta let things go if you're having an argument with somebody. Certainly, a uh, degree of whether you should ban people or not is, is important. You know? You can kind of recognize people's intent sometimes. And sometimes, yeah, people just run around swearing all day. But if that was the case, I think more than one person... Uh, seen Kyler098. The question is, is this player banned? I don't know. She's been offline for three months and seven days.
line for three months, so I don't know. Honestly, if somebody's been gone that long, it doesn't matter if they've been banned. They must not want to play here anymore, buddy. So, uh, goodness. That's all I can say there. Please help Tacky. He disadded me from his plot after an epic mansion was built by me. Well, if you join someone else's plot, sure, they have the freedom to kick you off. That's why you should probably build on your own ones if you want an epic building. Now, I know multiplayer is a lot more fun than single player, but plot me info. That's the thing, though. It's part of the game, I guess. If you can add your friends, then technically, yeah. You can remove your friends, too. So, done, 36. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Can I actually confirm that this mansion, which is apparently epic, according to him? I gotta tell you something. Here's the thing. Everybody thinks their builds are amazing. All the time, no matter what it is. It's completely true. I'm trapped in the wall right now, aren't I? There we go. And that's not a redstone clock. Those are just turning on lights. So, I really want to help this guy. I mean, yeah, according to Bedrock, he made a lot of this mansion, which is partially made of ice. Interesting choice. But, I mean, done 36. Sorry, but, I mean, it's part of this server that you can allow and remove people. Sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's part of the game. I mean, there's nothing to stop him from removing you if I did just plain add you back. And if I add you back, you'd probably be mad at him for removing you and destroy the mansion anyway. And then that would just add more questions because, I mean, since you're the builder and you can't grief yourself, if you came back to destroy the mansion just to make him angry, there's nothing I could do about that either. Which is probably what might happen. I mean, let's... You know, it makes sense. I've seen it before. Huh. <sighs> so, I mean, what do I do about this? Honestly, sometimes, sadly, as the admin, you gotta recognize the limitations of the game and the rules, and I can't think of anything, really. It's Tackley or whoever owns this plot, and they can remove whoever they want or add whoever they want. And it's too bad if Minecraft made the, mine, the mansion for him and then tackily removed him for no reason, but things happen. I mean, Minecraft is free to go get his own plot, build a mansion there. And the really nice thing to do, I suppose, would be to copy the mansion and put it on his plot if he wanted it. But I think more of the issue is he wanted to build with a friend and the friend kicked him out. Well, sometimes, sometimes you gotta deal with the arguments yourself. I mean, staff are here to help with things. Friends that aren't getting along is not something that I can solve. It's a personal issue. <laughs> it's not a block thing or an accident or a grief or anything. That's just kind of sad, which is too bad. I mean, I hope they get along. Maybe... I have no idea how, to, how that might end well, actually. Just, I guess they go their separate ways because, again, it's a game mechanic. Adding people and removing people. And sadly, that's really all there is to it. I hope this gave you some insight into what it's like being the admin and the kind of thoughts that go through my head. Thanks for watching. I might as well sign out now since there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Which is nice, right? I like a little break every now and then. Yeah, I'll go play another game like Magic the Gathering. Anyways, this is Flip signing off. Have a good day, everybody.